And Jamshedpur have won the Hero ISL. Hyderabad are the Hero of Indian Super League champion. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of the Let's Football live show, ladies and gentlemen, where every fortnight during this off-season, we bring to you interactions with players, coaches and experts, pretty much anyone who's involved with the Hero Indian Super League and are responsible for making the league tick and making it what it is. And this episode is all about new beginnings because at Chennai NFC this season, we have at the helm a new manager who's in charge of taking their fortunes to the next level. Of course, they didn't have the best campaign last season, but Thomas Berdaric will be hoping that he can take it up a notch this season and bring joy to the Chennai NFC fans. So before we bring in Thomas Bedaric to the show, I will do my customary activity of getting in Shaiju Damodran, Pulas Tadhar, and Kaushik Varan to the Let's Football Live Show. Gentlemen, hope you guys are doing fine. And I hope you guys are doing better than what you were doing the last fortnight because it means that we are a fortnight closer to the new domestic season starting. Uh, now, public service announcement, guys. The people sitting before me do not have any idea that they're going to be hit by a random rapid fire round right before Thomas Bedaric joins. So first salvo to you, Kaushik Varun. You know, okay. True or false, Thomas Bedaric has played in a Champions League final. Uh, why me first? I don't know. But uh, yes, true. I was in class 8, 2002. All right. Can you name what Champions League final that was? Who were the, who were the opponents that Thomas Bedaric was playing against? Uh... I think it started with L, I think, the name. Now, I'll help you out. It was Real Madrid. Uh, okay. Thomas Baraj was playing for Bayer Leverkusen. But take it, take it. You got, you got the answer right, uh, Varun. It was a true or false question. I was being a little naughty by adding more <laughs> dimensions to it. So, fine. I'll give you that one. Next, Alvo. Shaiju. True or false? Thomas Baraj is the third German manager to manage in the Hero Indian Super League. So, yes, it's false. Because uh, I think uh, Thomas is the second German manager who will be in ISL uh, after Marco Pezzioli, who coached, uh, who was a manager with the Bengaluru FC. And we would like to get more German coaches. This should be a milestone for Thomas to bring more German coaches to India. Well, lovely, Shaiju. Well, well done. Well done on that research. Uh, so that's two out of two for our panelists so far. Well, that's no pressure coming on to you. <laughs> Thomas Bedaric has played with two former Hero Indian Super League stars before in his career. One is Lucio, who played for FC Goa, and they played together at Bayer Leverkusen. Can you name the second one? Well, you know what? I think um, this is a great question because one of my favorite players, and I don't know if it's the correct answer, but I think it has to be Berbatov, the man with the greatest first touch in the history of football. Well done, Pula. <laughs> Everyone has done their research very, very well. We'll <laughs> confirm if that bit about the first touch is true from the man himself because he's, of course, played with him. Uh, so, without wasting any more time, Thomas, why don't you come and join us right in and tell us how you've been doing so far, Thomas. How's your time in Chennai been since you've landed? First of all, guys, nice to meet you here uh, on this channel. I enjoy already so, so, so far. And uh, yes, um, I, I settle in very well. Um, I feel very comfortable. And uh, we are already in processes. Uh, we're in the midst of uh, the preparation here in Chennai. So, but to get known uh, each other needs a little bit of time, but we are working on that. Well, Thomas, uh, can you confirm or deny the fact that uh, Dimitar Berbatov has the best first touch uh, in football, like Pulasta over here claimed to be played with him before? <laughs> Yes, he learned a lot of uh, from my side. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check that out on the touchline when the ball goes to me. <laughs> I assist him. I assist him so much time. <laughs> yeah, but nobody remember the assist, you know. Everybody um, noticed that he, he was scoring so much goals. So, but I run, I run for him, you know. <laughs> That's but wonderful. That, that was a hallmark of your, of your time as a player, wasn't it, Thomas? You were known to be a hard-working striker who, who used to work off the ball a lot and assist his teammates. Uh, but in, in general, Thomas, uh, you know, have, you, have you been ad uh, able to adapt to conditions in Chennai yet? How are the training sessions going? Um, yes, um, I, I like the attitude of the players. And uh, I see they want to, to go on the a, on a next step. Um, we have to be a little bit patient with that. Uh, we are starting from 
up and you know from the zero so so we 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 should try to to learn each other much better um and uh, we should give the, the the team and the players a little bit time to adapt uh, the training sessions um it's uh, very humid here uh, in town so the the journey from the hotel uh, to the pitch it's not uh, very close it's a little bit far so and um yeah i think uh all of the staff, you know, works well, and everybody wants to be involved uh, in in this team. This is that what I recognize in the first days. Well, lovely, sounds great, Thomas. I'm just going to throw it to Shaiju now, who's going to fire his first question for you. Hi, hi, Thomas. Hi. Hi, and uh, just before just before firing my first question, I would I would like to I would like to do some some small tiny little things. Nalla irkingla. Wanna come? Ah, fine, ah. great. Yeah, great. <laughs> wow. you, 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 already, you already made a signature to Tamil language. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, Nalla yeah. Irkingla yeah. means in Tamil is how are you? Sapitingla means have you had your breakfast? Yes. Yes. Yeah, fine. Uh, That's great. That's late. Breakfast already. I'm already before the lunch. So, yeah. so far. <laughs> Okay, and and one more tiny thing: how how we how we especially we South Indians how we should pronounce your name, Thomas Bradarich, Thomas Bradarich, right? No, you have to change uh, one sense in 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 the name. Not Bradarich means in generally it's Bradarich. Bradarich, okay, Bra Bradarich. Yes, Bradarich. In in okay. Ser Serbia, in Croatia, it's very hard. You know, too hard to say Brdaric, but it means Thomas Brdaric. It's a little bit more soft, more sensitive. You have to, to use it to, to say it softly, you know. Hopefully, hopefully I can. I will be able to use it thousand times softly in this coming ISL season nine. I want to listen my name. Thomas Brdaric. No, you are wrong. Oh. <laughs> kindly, well, kindly say once again, kindly say once again. Change not Bradarich, 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 Thomas yes. Bradarich, right? Bradarich. Thomas Bradarich, Thomas Bradarich. It has to have a ring to it. Thomas Bradarich. Bradarich. Well, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy Thomas is uh, not my boss because I can't believe how many. <laughs> <laughs> Being on air and you know afterwards getting a list of the names I got wrong. <laughs> Say my name right. <laughs> like that. So, so coach, coming, com coming to my my serious question. Uh, I think I think this is your thirteenth year as a foot, in football managership with different different clubs. Uh, you have been to Uzbekistan. You have been to Belarus. Apart from Germany, uh, managing a lot of clubs there in Europe. And I think this is your first visit to India as a football manager of a great team like uh, Chennai FC, which has already made a lot of success in Indian Super League. So kindly tell us a little bit about what you knew about the Indian Super League before you accepting this offer from Chennai NFC. Um, first of all, um, really, I'm, I'm happy and I appreciate that uh, I ha I'm able, you know, to, to have this responsibility. And um, I, I have to, to say thank you to the board that the, the choice is um, on my person. Um, and, um, you know, it's in, in football, it's, it's very simple. Um, if you look back, um, then um, you don't go ahead. Um, you should learn from your doings. And in the past, I, I heard a lot of about Indian football. Of course, um, I don't take a mind so much about the, the details and uh, how the football works really in India. But uh, I, want, um, I want that uh, I use the time here for preparations when we start in, in the challenge and in, 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 the, in, the, in the new season uh, that I know much more the league, the, the players, uh, the, the style of the, of the teams. So to understand uh, under which tactics uh, we should play against the, the teams. And uh, I take a mind every time when, I, when I'm in the responsibilities. It's like a fan. It's completely different uh, kind of uh, understanding than as a coach. So before I was a spectator and a visitor of the Indian football, but now I am teaching a club to be successful in, in this league. And this is completely another, another thinking. Right, thank you. 
Again, you know, whenever you hear a German coach is coming, so there's like a bell that goes off in your head. German coach means aggressive and attacking, like if you know, like the names of uh, Klopp, Hassan Hotel, or maybe Tuchel, Nagelsmann. You know, they all are attacking aggressive. So, do we see aggressive and attacking Chennai FC this season? Um, listen, um, every single each coach coach has his own style, and. Um, of course, um, makes me a little bit proud. They want to compare my football style a little bit with the big coaches, but um, I'm in processes as well. Um, of course, um, I will work on that, that maybe um, I, I reach um, uh, this level of Klopp and Tuchel and uh, Guardiola. Uh, I can learn from them so much, but I see some similar football uh, like what they want to play. So, and um, that's make me proud a little bit also. Um, and that's my understanding. Uh, it's comparing from them. Well, Thomas, uh, you know, like, taking on from what Varun said, German coaches tend to have generally a bit of an attacking philosophy uh, about, their, about their style of play. We'll come to that a bit later. I'm sure uh, Pulast and, and Shaiju will have questions banked for you for that. <laughs> but I wanted to ask you in general about the reception you've received from the Chennai and FC fans so far. I'm sure you'd have done your research about the club before you joined. This season, football is going to be back at the Marina Arena after two seasons behind uh, behind closed doors. Uh, and fans are naturally very, very excited for that. What have you made? Do you feel treated well by the fans? Have you, have you enjoyed the reception that you've gotten by them so far? Yes, um, the fans are very lovely and they're really excited uh... Uh, they can't wait uh, to start the season, but my, my person as well. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward uh, to, to play the first time uh, in this Marina uh, uh, Stadium. But till, till uh, this point, um, we have to invest a lot of. So it's a little bit far um, to the next match, uh, the official match. Um, till this point, uh, we have a lot of preparation time uh, to going through hard work. Um, and um, to create a team, uh, I mean, the fans, of course, they have every time big expectations. But me as a coach, I have expectations as well from myself first. And then um, I ask um, for my players or to my players so much. Um, and uh, you can ask the players how they feel, you know. And I see they enjoy the training sessions. Um, and um, to give the, the team a new identity, it needs a little bit time um, to show the principles principles uh, what what i ask and uh, this is this uh, kind of work needs a little bit of time but i'm i'm really convinced and confident um that um, you know that the fire you know he will jump uh, to the to the fans and they will enjoy our game yeah. um coach just just quickly to jump in you know you've you've already mentioned how much running you would do in your playing days you know how 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 helpful of a strike partner but what kind of a player were you in your own words and do shades of that you know the player you were does it kind of reflect in your coaching philosophy as well yes uh, a little bit um but um i think the understanding of the of the presently uh, players uh, i think uh, it, it helps you know to be a, a player before so uh, to understanding the individual uh, positions of the players and uh, to deal with them, uh, I think uh, it, it helps uh, that I was a player before, but now it's a different uh, situation. So I'm not a player anymore. I'm the coach. I'm, I, I told the, the players that uh, in the first sense, I'm the coach and not the friend of the players. And uh, it's not a one-way street uh, in the life and in the football as well. So everybody should work on that. That we uh, find a good response, uh, find a good relation um, uh, for each other, and uh, of this basic, we can build up. And, and you know, you mentioned very nicely that how you first, your first expectation is from yourself, because then that kind of rubs off on the players. But when you've, after you know, Shaiju already mentioned, you know, you've managed all over in so many countries. But when you came to the Indian Super League. What is the adaptation that you yourself as a coach have to go through? Obviously, the players have to adapt to you and, and, and the conditions. But what about you personally? What have you had to adapt to? Um, I mean, uh, personally, uh, I have to accept that the conditions are like it is. And uh, uh, to work on the, under these conditions uh, is different. 
um, about the, the weather, the climate, um, about the style, how the players before get developed uh, from some coaches and uh, from the youth teams. Um, I, I should I take a, a overview about everything and uh, to put uh, my style, uh, how I want to play on that. And then I think uh, it's it's very, very hard, you know, uh, to practice every time and uh, to build a, a team, a successful team. This is the motivation, you know, this is the objective that we want uh, to play a successful uh, season. Um, and for, for that, uh, we have to invest a lot of and um, to accept um, how it is, you know, and to build up on that. Um, and this adaptation uh, needs a little bit of time, but shortly, shortly time's gone. Um, and I adapt already um, what happens here. Uh, so, so far it is um, for me every day, a new motivation um, to work with the players and to, 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 to create a, a team uh, that, 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 that the fans are able to identify with them. That's nice. Uh, Thomas, uh, we, we, we know uh, that uh, you're coaching a new Chennai FC side uh, who is already having uh, uh, a really talented bunch of Indian players, like uh, named like Anirudh Thapa, Edwin Van Spoor, etc. So my question, my second question to you, uh, how's the process? How's the process in Chennai now uh, You get uh, of you getting to know your players uh, very closely? And would you say you have been uh, able to get acquainted to get in touch, work with the players, uh, the team already, especially with the Indian players? Yes. Um, first of all, we are in India um, and uh... My, my the, the sense you know and the approach is uh, to build up um, all Indian players what we have and uh, to bring foreigner players you know to uh, accomplish them uh, with the Indian players and to bring them on another level of course for myself um, it's um, uh, I, for me uh, it's the, it's a kind of challenge you know to bring Indian players on a, another level I see a lot of good development players uh, in our team they are very eager. Uh, studious and uh, they invest a lot of um, so they, they should uh, understand uh, without uh, physically good level they can't play football and to give them a lot of confidence um, that they're able to uh, to, to work uh, on that what I ask um, because all players uh, like to play um, and I mean it's it's uh, we have a couple of young players um, they have um, expectations on themselves um, and uh, to deal with the players, um, especially with the young players, uh, to give them all support um, to um, to evolve. Um, it's a it's a question of it's a it's a kind of dealing, you know, of my style of, of, of working processes and strategy. So I mean, uh, ideally in the past we were well with that, um, and uh, I mean uh, it will succeed here as well. Thanks. And I, I, this is your like the first stint uh, in India, the Indian Super League, and I think this is your second stint in Asia. But I'm sure you have done your homework, uh, and especially for Chennai FC, it was not a good season uh, the last time. So uh, you must have noticed uh, some mistakes or things, or you know, uh, phases which you will look forward not to repeating the same. So are, are there any uh, mistakes in particular that you want to avoid this season? Um, first of all. I don't have any interests, you know, to clear, to complain about uh, what happens in the past. Uh, I'm looking every time uh, ahead. Of course, I use um, um, advantages from what happens before. Um, and uh, I, I, tell, I told the players we should learn from our mistakes from the past. Um, and uh, these processes are very important uh, uh, to rise up and to lift up on the next level. Um, and uh, I showed, I mean, in, in the past um, with my coaching team, uh, where we should be focused uh, on which uh, topics. Uh, we have a lot of topics uh, in our uh, training sessions um, till now. We didn't uh, play it against uh, another teams. We played um, now two times um, in, uh, in with ourselves uh, on the training ground. Um, but I can tell you, um, I see good progresses. Um, um, I mean, these advices and, and suggestions and recommendations and the ideas uh, what we want to teach, uh, uh, they are already settled uh, in, in, the, in the player's mind. Coach, you know, sometimes it, uh, there's, a, there's a bit of a giveaway looking at a transfer, transfer strategy in terms of what kind of football you might want to play. I mean, it's, it's 
kind of obviously an assumption, but you've gone for like big, big players, like, you know, like Falu Diagne, you've got Perikari, you've got like really tall, tall boys in there. Is, is that, is that part of your transfer, transfer strategy? Is that something you want to take us through as to why and who you're looking to sign and what you look at? I mean, it's obviously that everywhere in the world, you can't win championship only with uh, young players or with old players. I mean, it's, it's very important to have a good mix um, and to have a good strategy uh, to deal with all players. For me, it's all players the same, you know, our, all players are equal. Um, just the players have different experiences uh, in his life. Um, and to, to take it for our advantage, uh, this is the kind of uh, coaching what I, what I do. Um, and um, it does uh, make so fun, you know, to work uh, with the Indian players and uh, to give them the motivation um, uh, to be very, be very close uh, with their visions and, uh, um, and to invest a lot of uh, for our dreams and to bring back um, GNFC, CFC and Chennai FC um, on, on, on this level, what we are, or everybody wants uh, to see this club. Um, and, and I mean, it's, um, it's, a, it's a kind of, um, of a style, coaching style, uh, and to take everybody in the positions uh, on this journey. Um, it's, it's, um, it's a tough work, but uh, I'm motivated for that. But, but just coming back to just, just the one factor, which is the height of the players you've gone for. Do you, do you think the club, the team lacked physical presence up front? Is that something you want to rectify? Yes, to, to be equal uh, with, with, with that, because uh, it's make no sense um, to, to work uh, only on physically. Uh, I mean, it's, it's uh, in, in professional football, you must uh, uh, have um, uh, a good complex um, skill and abilities um, uh, that were not predictable on the pitch. And uh, physically, it's, it's one important part. Uh, and uh, the player must be ready uh, for 90 minutes. And um, I see yesterday, the first time, a very aggressive uh, a game, and uh, I'm very happy that you reached a uh, very fast, um, a good level on that. Of course, some players, they need a little bit more time. Uh, we have some players, they, they had some issues to solve in the past. Uh, we want to support them uh, every time and to give them really um, yeah, conditions that they feel well. Um, but... Uh, in football on the pitch, uh, you have to, 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 to be ready for the fight and uh, to, to have um, a good balance in the team. Uh, it's up to me for the decisions who will play. Uh, Thomas, uh, Thomas, we, we already had a, at this point in the rapid fire section. See, we haven't seen more number of German coaches in ISL so far. We already saw Marco Pezzioli and now you are with us. You are with ISL. So my question, what, what, what was the motivation behind, main motivation behind the decision to come to India in I, for ISL? Yeah, first of all, um, I have to tell you, um, I had a dream um, some, some times ago um, to, to come to Asia and um, to fulfill with knowledge and with experience and, and passion. Uh, to overtake a club um, with the, the same mind, uh, with the same objectives. And you, you told before, I was already um, in, in, in the Asia market. Um, yeah. I developed uh, Bunyot Court Tashkent uh, yeah. to semifinals um, in, in, in a CFC. We had a great time. I had another position uh, in, in this club, um, but uh, that was the motivation for me. Um, to, to settle in a in a in a in a club uh, with with um, with these uh, yeah with these objectives and targets uh, uh, what I prefer as well and um, we had good inter interviews uh, in the past with the board and um, good conversation um, and this gave me the motivation um, and I, I but the first of all I have to convince the board that I'm the right person and um, now I'm here and um, let's let's go. And, and uh, adding to this, adding to this point, what about the what about the masala dosas and Italy is in Chennai, <laughs> which is also attractive? Did you write that? I, I didn't understand. The, yeah, the uh, actually Chennai called as the capital of masala dosas and Italy's and Indian 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 cuisine. 
especially yes. indian cuisine vegetarian especially vegetarian masala dosas and idlis have you tried yes yes of course and i go through bombay wali uh, already and uh, i had um, last last week really a, a rally uh, with that but now i recovered from that um i love the indian cousin it's you know this in, we are we are here settled in in a in a very nice hotel in a higher regency and um everybody's staff are very very lovely and uh, um 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 coaches and and polite and um they they, they read you know your minds and uh, uh, i enjoy to be to be here um but uh, we have to um to be to, to to change a little bit the cousin i know that we have here in chennai very very good restaurants and um to that we are be a little bit flexible uh, we have to change uh, the restaurant sometimes but here in the hotel we we enjoy i feel well great and uh, what i have heard is uh, you know uh, thomas really loves the uh, fresh fish and the sea view and i think marina machans will be really looking forward to that this season and i know suresh is waiting for long with his question but i have this one last question for you thomas uh, so it's been quite long you have spent uh, time with the team so uh, who are the indian players who have impressed you a lot the indian players yeah um they impressed me with the attitude um um players uh, what i like um it's um it's you know, I, i mean um they, they try their best uh but to find the right decision um at the field on a high level uh, you have to learn you have to practice you have to generate you have to um to understand um that you need um a uh, lot of re repeatings uh, to to find uh, on the game the right uh, decision so and i'm i will support them uh, that they are happy um and uh, to fulfill the dreams um, of of the the indian players um i know this um this um indian super league um, is is something extraordinary uh, here in in asia and uh, to to be a part of it um i want to give for all my support and my knowledge uh, the players that they rise up and that uh, becomes uh, one time great players well superb thomas now just to wrap up the show i have a couple of questions from my end uh, to end it if we can come to the topic of expectations uh, chennai and fc fans uh, always have high expectations of their team regardless of how the teams performed in previous seasons before that now that in addition to the hero indian super league we are going to have the durand cup in the build up to that we will also have the super cup at some point of time so how important is it personally for you to approach each competition with the intention of winning it how 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 do you approach that because fans will always have that expectation that every competition we enter we want to win but from what you've seen so far what will your approach be in in the tournaments apart from the hero indian super league as well um when i when you settle here in uh, in chennai and you see our training sessions then you will recognize uh, what i ask from my players so um if we are on the pitch we want to win all matches and uh, uh, i think is that the first principle uh, what what i try to implement in the team the men uh, winner mentality and doesn't matter it's a it's a friendly match or it's, it's a big match um the, the target should be every time to win um and uh, but you must be prepared for that you know so because everybody wants to win in, in, in a kind of a sense um but um, the way of approach it's it's very important and um i i told you before to give the players um the right task and alignments um to be prepared for that it needs a bit of time um but during cup uh, it's coming soon and uh, we'll figure out uh, where we stay uh, before we we have some friendly matches uh, in uh, calcutta and uh, we try um to 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 make that we could perform and um, that we are prepared for the championship um and um, we should uh, use it for 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 our game for our style how we want to play and um but i can't uh, tell you right now uh, under which uh, tactics uh, we want to play because the, it's changing every time from opponent to opponent um but if um that the team um accept uh, this uh how it wants to play then we are already a step ahead well brilliant thomas and you know i can't let you go without asking you about one of the highlights of your career and you can actually 
Tell us if you consider that a highlight at all or not. I'm talking about the Champions League final of 2002. You were playing for Bayer Leverkusen. You started that game. It was it was the final against Real Madrid where Zidane scored that iconic volley, just plucked it out of the air and with his left foot nestled it in the top corner. Thomas, what are your memories of that match? First of all, that's the first part of my question. The second part of my question is, how do you look back at that game? Do you look back at that final with a certain sense of contentment that I got to play in the Champions League final and not many players in their career even have the chance to say that they've ever played in the Champions League final? Or do you look back at it with a certain kind of wishfulness and say, I wish it had gone a different way, you know? How, how, do, you, how do you look at both the things? Um, look, it's it's uh, officially um, that uh, everybody is uh, watching uh, on European Champions League and this is the highest level uh, in the world. So, and to be a part of that, uh, we, we um, I think we graduate uh, a, a winner mentality and, uh, um, but to win a match in the Champions League final means not that you must be the better team. Sometimes, um, you know, in details, uh, it's decisive uh, who will matches, who will win matches. And uh, it show us in this match, um, Bayer Leverkusen was the better team. Uh, we had better chances. But um, uh, in this moment, when Sidan and Raul scored, you know, we've been a little bit sleepy, you know, in our back. So um, it's, you know, when, when you speak about it, when we speak about it, I enjoy every each moment uh, that I was a part, what that I was a, a part of that. And um, still hurts a little bit uh, the result and uh, but i can't change the result uh, i take the memories um, very positive and uh, uh, we have a lot of stories uh, in, in we, we, no, we, we did a lot of stories uh, in, um, in in this champions league um, 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 times um, and um, you know i think uh, when we speak about it uh, it is something special ex something extraordinary and uh, to bring these these minds, these, these winner mentalities to, to my teams and, and my players, I, I, I hope that should help them, you know, to be motivated for the next steps. Well, for the, for the sake of the Chennai NFC fans and for the players as well, Thomas, I hope that winning mentality does rub off. I can see Mr. Shaiju Damodran with his customary finger, with one last question, <laughs> which is what I assume they were going to ask him, Shaiju. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Suya Grand. And uh, continuing on the on the memory side, down the memory line, um, uh, Thomas, uh, I know, I know you are a little bit interested with music. I know we know that you are you 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 bit in interest with music, uh, and kindly, <laughs> kindly, can you can you kindly recollect that uh, music album which you released years before, Wild Thirteen, because your jersey number was also thirteen. Kindly, kindly tell us that that beautiful story behind that album, Wild Thirteen. Yes. Look, uh, we should learn from our mistakes, right? <laughs> I never, I never suggest some players to make an album like this. <laughs> uh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's well, wonderful. Key, key takeaway for the Chennai and FC uh, players this season: lads, focus on the football on the pitch, and uh, you know, not on songwriting. <laughs> <laughs> he was like this. <laughs> but, but Thomas, did you even write the songs? Were you just composing the music or were you also writing? A pun? Were you also writing the songs in the album or were you just on the, on the music? Um, look, I, I had a meeting with uh, some goalkeepers, um, some appointments, some tough appointments sometimes, um, good fights um, and... Uh, you know, you have to face to face um, as a striker, uh, a goalkeeper means not to be lovely with them. So because you want to kill them with a goal. And um, so, so far, uh, I had also some some um, uh, meetings with them uh, where I get um, a card, a red card. And uh, it was a, a little bit, you know, um, a kind of response um, of the behavior of the goalkeepers. So it was a little bit funny, you know, it should be um, not serious, uh, should be a little bit uh, a kind of slapstick. And uh, I, I think it succeeds in this time. And guys, guys, and guys, one of the goalkeepers which, which he, which Thomas mentioned right now was Oliver Khan, if I am not wrong. Yes, might be, might be, might be right, yes. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> Thomas, I think Thomas has confirmed in his answer that it might be right. But Thomas, you're a great sport. And, uh, you know, most of all, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us today and what you're looking forward to with Chennai and FC. Uh, you've shown that you have a lighter side towards yourself as well. And that's something that I'm sure that the players can also benefit during the season from because it's a stressful season. There's, there's game after game. So it does help to have a manager who, who does believe in a laugh or two from time to time. So, uh, so hopefully that's the case. And Thomas, once again, thank you so much for joining us. All the best for what lies ahead for you and uh, for Chennai and FC further this season. Thank you. Thank you very All much. The All the best. Well, that was a great chat with the uh, candid Thomas Bradarich, who also taught us how to pronounce his name. Uh, Shaiju, you got there in the end. You know, you, you, you had a few tries, but in the end, we also found out we had a tutorial on how to pronounce Thomas Bradarich's name as well. But apart from that, uh, just the fact that uh, he shared his tidbits about uh, things from his career and how he approaches the game and his managerial strategy at large, fascinating to listen to. And I'm sure that the Chennai NFC fans will, will, will latch on to each and every word. Uh, what the Chennai NFC fans are also now looking forward to is the fact that the Durant Cup is approaching. For the first time in the history of the competition, we'll have all 11 Hero ISL teams playing in the Durant Cup. And the Durant Cup itself, which is Asia's oldest football tournament, uh, is going to be played across three cities this time. So, so new ground being broken uh, in that sense uh, across all, all spheres. Plus, you covered the Durant Cup last season. You were uh, you were lead commentator on the tournament. What are your memories of last season's Durant Cup? Uh, so, how do you feel uh, the groups look and which are the ones that stand out for you? I think um, the ones that stand out, my answer about the memories is probably going to be very similar to the group that stands out for me. And I think um, a lot of people will say ATK Mohan Bagani is Bengal, that group. But I think it's group A because it's got Bengaluru, Mohammedan Sporting and FC Goa. Now, I'll tell you why. Because Bengaluru and FC Goa really used the Durant Cup last season as a as a you know as a, as a as a stepping stone for a lot of players who impressed us later on roshan being one of them who remarkably stood out uh, in that i think these teams and also because they've gone through changes this season i mean with the players that fc goa have signed you know have let go bengaluru also there's been a lot of ins and outs that i'm sure you're going to discuss in in a bit so and mobran sporting with the backing and you know with uh, they're, they're not easy to beat uh, on their day so, so I think that's the group that is the most open. That's the group that will that might give us the most young players who might be stepping into the starting 11s in, in the Hero ISL. And there's a bit of a, I think it's just that philosophy to see to see the new coach, Pena, to see Grayson come through. And I'm yeah. kind of excited about how it all works out for those two and Mumbai Sporting being in the mix. Yeah, and and the the tournament will last for for over a month, so so it's not yeah. it's not exactly a, just just a short burst of 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 you know of matches. Right. There's there's a sustenance to it, so it'll be very interesting to see how that pans out. Uh, you spoke about uh, ins and outs of, from Bengaluru FC. There was an out from ATK Mohan Bagan. Uh, now you're moving ahead from the Durand Cup, Varun. If I was to come to you, uh, Roy Krishna, who kind of became synonymous with the club for the last two seasons, has has moved on. To Bengaluru FC. There were offers from abroad. Wellington Phoenix wanted to take him back. In fact, their coach also went on record to say that we want to sign Roy Krishna uh, again, but it depends on what Roy wants. And at the end, it turns out that Roy wanted to move to Bengaluru FC. Uh, your your initial reactions as a fan, first of all. Uh, and secondly, how do you feel uh, ATK Mohan Bagana going to cope with the loss of Roy Krishna? Or, or you know, is it going to hit them bad? Or do you think they're already well stocked with replacements? Uh, I'm sure they are well shocked with the replacements and they're ready for it, but it might hit them uh, if you ask me why. Because uh, firstly, as a fan, I was like heartbroken because Roy Krishna like was uh, synonymous with ATK Mohan being a marina, Joy Mohan and all that. But the thing is, uh, you know, whenever a player moves out, uh, for Roy Krishna also, it's going to be very tough, you know, fitting in, in a new outfit. It's going to be tough for him and, you know, uh, directly shooting away to glory, firing goals is going to be tough for him. And similarly, for the other replacements of Roy Krishna who are joining the Mariners camp, it's going to be tough for them also because Roy Krishna was used to ATK Mohan Bhavan. He knew the uh, like you know the support staff, the players, everyone, the colleagues. So he was kind of comfortable. So for anyone who is joining, you know, a, a new addition to the Mariners camp, it's going to be tough for them. But for Roy, uh, one thing is good that you know Bengaluru FC also has Probir Das. So after the goals, they might have the same celebrations. Only that this time we'll be seeing it in a uh, in a different jersey, basically Bengaluru FC outfit. Why, why do you feel that 
that there is still an element of 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 ATK Mohan Bagan which required Roy Krishna because they seem to to done well without him even last season, right? Uh, the last season was, I think, you know, the only phase uh, he was looking a bit off color. He was not uh, finding that scoring boost. Oh, fair, so, fair. Uh, right. So maybe that's the reason that you know the club uh, left him and he joined Bengaluru FC. But he still has that class. So I think he might do a comeback. He might do a bounce back, and yeah. uh, he would like to prove himself. You know, so while he plays for Bengaluru FC, he would like to prove himself that he's still the same. And he's still that Roy Krishna who had joined years back, you know, yeah. in the Hero Indian Super League. Yeah, on on our Let's Football, football Live Twitter spaces earlier this week, we had uh, Parth Jindal who who joined in on a whim. Right. We were doing it with Anand Tyagi, Paul Mayfield, and Darren Caldera. We had the West Block Blues joining in as well. So mm. Parth joined in as well, and he he basically said that look, Roy Krishna is someone who's tormented us in the past. Uh, uh, Probir Das as well. If you look back at that second leg of right. the of the semi final in 2019-20, when uh, you know when when a one nil deficit was overturned, uh, so he said, you know, that of course helps that that Roy Krishna is part of our camp, and he also alluded to the fact that when you play against Bengaluru FC, you notice the passion that the fans have for the team, and and that might have played a part a, right. a big part in Roy Krishna joining that. Bengaluru FC as well. In addition to the fact that it's a well-run club and and it has done what it has done in the past for Indian football. So uh, looking forward to seeing Roy Krishna in uh, in the blue Bengaluru FC, and especially with Sunil Chhetri because uh, you have a 37 year old and a 34 year old in in the attacking third who don't look a day older than 28, 29. You know, so so it's it's going to be very very tasty to observe. And guys, with that, we wrap up yet another uh, Let's Football Live show. Love doing this with you guys uh, on a fortnightly basis. We're going to have even more interesting guests joining us in the future. So thank you, Pulas, Varun and Shaiju for taking out the time as you usually do and joining us on the Let's Football Live show. And guys, until next time, we will see you very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. And Jamshedpur have won the Hero ISL. Hajjabad are the Hero Indian Super League champion.